Welcome to the March 2017 Gaming PC Builds of the Month brought to you by NoobComputerBuild.com. All of the hardware for these three builds will be linked in the description below as well. Please visit the site at NoobComputerBuild.com where these builds are posted every single month. My name is Corey. All right, so we're going to do these builds a little bit differently this month. Um, they didn't change too, too much since last month's new builds. And then last month's new builds included the new Cabby Lake uh, Intel CPUs. And so this month... Um, we've included those again, but as you can see here, I have lined up the three builds that we usually do all in a row here so that we can do a side by side comparison, um, of the three. And so for anyone new here, uh, what we do is we have three builds. There's kind of a high end build, a mid range build and an entry level gaming PC build. Uh, the high end one is, uh, is a 1300 to $1,500. And that depends on the graphics card that you choose for the most part. And then the $1,000 build is kind of the mid-range build that you should get if you're going to game at 1080p to 1440p resolutions, or depending on the, what kind of monitor you have and the refresh rate of that. Um, and then the $600 gaming PC build is kind of the entry-level build that I would suggest. I wouldn't suggest getting a build less than that. If you can get the hard, same hardware for less, sure. But um, for the same performance, I wouldn't kind of go less. But that's just my opinion. Uh, especially if you want to get up and running like it's an um, these PC builds are an investment you might as well get your money's worth all right so let's start for the uh, CPU for the $1,300 build to $1,500 build is uh, the Intel i5 7600k that comes in at $239.99 and that's uh, the newer Cabby Lake version the seventh generation Intel CPUs um, but you can see in the $1,000 build, we also have the same CPU. However, in the $600 build, we have an i3. So the Intel 7100 i3 7th Gen Core uh, CPU for $119.99. Um, that where you would go beyond this is you'll see after we go through these main builds that there is an alternatives, uh, alternative hardware suggestions for each one of these. And that's where you bump up the CPU. Uh, to either an i7 if you want and that's dependent on whether you do more than gaming in my opinion so something like uh, graphics work or video work um, where you would do uh, uh, CPU dependent processes like rendering um, and then for the i7 you do need a cooler it does not come with a stock cooler so we do uh, pair a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo uh, for $31.39 in both of the 1000 and the $1,300 builds and then in this one you do not in the $600 build you do, do not need a cooler because there's a stock cooler that comes with it Also, you can overclock these two CPUs Whereas you cannot overclock the 7100 uh, the same because it's not an unlocked processor For the motherboards Let's scroll down a bit here. So the motherboard we have a slightly better motherboard in the $1,300 build We have the Gigabyte GAZ270X Ultra Gaming Board uh, and that's $164.99 and then for the $1,000 build, we have an ASUS Prime Z270P, and that's $135. And then for the uh, $600 build, we have a $109.9... Sorry, I don't know why I'm starting with the price, but we have an MSI Pro Series Intel H270, which comes out to $109.99. I did get a better... Uh, I am suggesting a better motherboard in last month's suggestion, so uh, just keep that in mind if you were looking since last month. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> And so moving on, we have for the graphics cards, the real driver behind all of these builds, especially for a gaming PC build, you have two choices for the $1,300 to $1,500 build. And why do, we, why do we have two choices? Is that I would not change very much in this build uh, if I was going to upgrade it uh, performance-wise other than swapping out the graphics card. So you have the choice between GTX 1080 or GTX 1070. So the difference in price is $595 versus $388. Um, so I'll leave that up to you. The GTX 1070 uh, performs really, really well, especially in 1440p. You'll play everything probably maxed out, not a problem. Um, and it's good for VR. But if you do want to get into the 4K gaming, I would suggest that you go with a GTX 1080. So I'll leave that up to you. For the $1,000 build, we have an XFX Radeon RX 480, 8GB version. You can save a little bit of money if you do go with the 4GB version and not have too much difference in, in terms of gaming performance. But I do include the 8GB version here because it's not much more at $219.99. And then for the $600 build, we have an Asus ROG Strix Radeon RX 470, 4GB version, $169.99. For RAM, for all three of these builds, uh, 
Um, you can see the main difference is that in the higher end build, you have a, a 16 gigabyte kit versus the eight gigabyte kits and the same kits in both the $1,000 build and $600 build. So for the 16 gigabyte Corsair Vengeance LPX, we have, it comes out to $109.99, $64 for the Ballistic Sport LT 8 gigabyte kit, and same with the six, $64 for this one too in the $600 build. And you can see, I'm suggesting, su suggesting the same solid state drive for all three of the builds. The main difference is the storage capacity. So we have for $169.99, a Samsung 850 EVO 500 gigabyte SSD in the $1,300 build. But in the $1,000 build, we have the Samsung 850 EVO 250 gigabyte. And then in the $600 build, sorry, it's not a Samsung EVO. It's a slightly uh, more budget SSD, SanDisk SSD 120 gigabyte version for $44.99. So if you, you can see if you want to spend um, a little bit more, say $94, you can get a larger capacity SSD instead of this one. Uh, but you'd have to go a little bit over budget. Uh, with this build, uh, and but this and the Samsung Evos are a little bit faster in terms of read write times as well. So I'll leave that up to you as well. Um, for the power supplies, in the thirteen hundred dollar build, we have the EVGA Super Supernova G two seven fifty watt ninety nine ninety nine, EVGA Supernova six fifty G one seventy nine ninety nine in the one thousand dollar build, and in the six hundred dollar build, we have a EVGA five hundred W one uh, power supply for forty six dollars and twenty six cents. And now finally the case, uh, the, the part that puts everything together and houses all of the hardware. In the $1,300 build, we have the Fractal Design Define R4 case, 9132 NZXT S340 for $64.99 in the $1,000 build. And you can use either of these for either of these builds as well. Uh, and if you so wanted to get a budget case uh, for any of the builds as well, uh, in the $600 build, we have the Bit, Bit Phoenix Nova uh, for $56.48. And then the final tally in, uh, in terms of what the, these builds currently come out to at the beginning of March 2017 is $1,295 if you use the GTX 1070 in the high-end build or $1,495 if you use the GTX 1080 graphics card. The $1,000 build comes up to $912.35, which is way under budget this, this time around. So you can, if you did not have an exactly $1,000 budget, you can upgrade... Uh, if you like <laughs> any of the hardware and we can get into that in a sec and then the $600 build is slightly over budget at $611 so if we scroll down and if you visit the site new computerbuild.com you can read into more detail for each of these builds but if we scroll down here we have some upgrade uh, suggestions for these builds and so for the high-end build uh, like I said if you want a CPU upgrade you can get a uh, Intel 7th gen uh, i7-7700K uh, and that'll cost you $339.99. You could really beef up your graphics, and I mean really beef it up with an NVIDIA Titan X, and that's, if you were really serious about 4K gaming, then maybe you want to invest in this, but it comes out to $1,200, and you purchase it straight from GeForce.com. Uh, CPU cooler upgrade, if you want a more customized cooling experience uh, with a liquid cooler, you can get a Corsair Hydro Series H100 V2, $104.20, or a storage upgrade in terms of storage speed, you get a PCI SSD, such as this Samsung 950 Pro 512 gigabyte uh, PCIe SSD. Um, for the $1,000 build, uh, you could get a larger SSD. Instead of the 256 gigabyte version, you can get a 500 gigabyte Samsung Evo, uh, 850 Evo for $169.99. You can bump up the graphics card to a GTX 1070 uh, if you want to do that, which will kind of make it up more up to par with the high-end build and that'll cost you $387.98 and then the PCU upgrade power supply upgrade would be a more efficient this is a more efficient in terms of power usage platinum rated uh, power supply EVGA Supernova 650 watt uh, $99.99 so it's actually quite cheap right now um, than what it usually is and then uh, for a cooler this is also a liquid cooler it's Corsair Hydro Series H80 IV2 uh, $85 so you can get that if you, instead of the uh, Hyper 212 Evo if you wanted to spend a little more or upgrade your build a little bit more and then for the $600 build since it doesn't have a stock cooler you have the option you could get a Cooler Master Hyper 212 for $31.39 you can beef up those graphics with an Asus uh, RX 480 4GB version $192.99 
Uh, you can also bump up to an i5 processor. Also a new Kaby Lake uh, CPU. This is the Intel Core i5-7500, 2499 And you can, like I said earlier, you can bump up the storage capacity to a Samsung 850 EVO 250GB SSD for $93.99. Alright guys, so that kind of does it for this month. If you have any questions, do leave a comment. Uh, visit the site, leave a comment there, and I'll help you out with your new builds. Um, I'll try to help you out and try to get back as soon as I can. Uh, and until next month, uh, good luck building.